But let's go to Jason Tatarnik now. Thanks, Tarts, for waiting through this. And I appreciate you offering to come on because I'll be honest with you, I don't entirely understand the significance of BC Hockey League separating from the CJHL. I'm no dummy. I have a rough idea, but you know far more about it. And this isn't new to you, this concept. So what can you tell us? <laughs> no, it's not new to me. I, obviously, being part of the league as a coach there for uh, a number of years, um, it's always been a discussion. Uh, I think it mo- mostly stems from the national championship tournament, uh, just the date and the timing of it. And I think they feel they, that's when um, attendance is the largest for them during playoffs. So, you know, I, I think if it's a decision that they want to break away from the CGHL or, you know, fine. But, uh, you know, if it's really just about the Nash tournament, just, you know, give the reasons why exactly and, and move on. Wait a minute. That makes... Not a lot of sense to me. You're talking about the Royal Bank Cup. Now the Centennial Cup is the reason behind them wanting to leave? Well, I think there's some appetite to, to not play in that tournament, right, uh, based on economics. And, you know, I, I agree with it in a sense from a business sense that, you know, that's the best part of the year for attendance numbers. And you're, you're kind of leaving and you're going to a national championship but at the end of the day, you've, um, you're part of Hockey Can, you're part of the CGHL, and those are the dates that are set, and it is what it is. Well, I'm sure that's part of it. But I want to tell the Alberta viewers and the people that are saying, Rod, no, you don't understand. The AJHL has denied what you're saying about the four teams from Alberta that are going to go to BC. One of those teams, Tarts, said, we're out, and we're these three are coming with us. <laughs> so I'm like, just let's just wait and see, okay, before anybody says that I'm wrong. But what, what, what has been explained to me is they're tired of losing players to the USHL and the perception that the US, USHL is a much better league than any junior A league in Canada, let alone the BCHL. And it, this is about competition and perception and a player attraction. Okay, so if we're going to compare the USHL to any junior team or junior league in our country, um, I don't mind saying it. Uh, they're far ahead than us. Uh, the USHL, you know, at the end of the season of a USHL roster, maybe there might be one or two players that are not committed to a U.S. school out of a 23-man roster. And usually they're not committed because they might be waiting for a younger player or – it might be an academic issue, or they played pro hockey somewhere. Um, you know, you look at the draft picks the USHL produces. I believe that 54 NHL picks last year. The year before, they had 59. I believe they had 10 first-round picks in that draft. So, um, yeah, you know, if you ask me, if you want my honest opinion, the USHL is a much better league than any of our tier two leagues um it's at par of major junior in canada so fair and boy did that just open up a can of worms oh, as you I know. Guess I... but you said you coached in bc for years which you did in chilliwack is there not a perception in this country that bc is the best junior a league and that's why they're separating because they want to go another notch higher to attract better players that's what i've been told it's to rival the ushl so yeah okay ushl is better but the bchl thinks that they can get to that level is that possible no no it's it's not um just the ushl is the premier league in the united states and just look at the sheer numbers of players playing in the usa right now it's it's a numbers game um that's their best league in their country um in Canada, we have this, you know, the CHL, which is deemed the best league in our country. And it's, yeah, like, you know what? I think there's there's players in the BCHL that are very good top-end players that are just as good as USHL players. But overall, the depth of those USHL teams is, it's that's, that's the difference. So the interesting thing, too, and when you coached in Chilliwack, it was the Chiefs, correct? Not the Bruins? The Chiefs, yeah. Yeah, you said you'd heard this talk going way back then, and you weren't in favor of it then. So I guess when you saw this report come out the other night, you weren't shocked, right? Like, this has been brewing for a while. Yeah, it's been brewing, and you know, I'm not shocked, but uh, I, I don't think the BCHL wants to withdraw from Hockey Canada. Uh, I think they want to be part of Hockey Canada still, and I think, you know, with the CJHL, there's some very good, um, there's some positive things about the 
you know, being part of that group. And there's some things that they have to improve on too, just like any league or any organization there's always room for improvement. So I can understand some of their frustrations with certain things, but at the end of the day, the CGHL is the governing body of all of us. And, um, you know, there's gotta be rules and regulations and everyone has to agree on them. Um, you know, if one league doesn't, uh, agree with the rules, then, you know, that's just the way it goes. You're just one vote in the governing body. And, uh, you know, for example, the, the CJHL, before the CJHL came came through, I'll use the trades for example. Um, there was players being traded for $20,000, $25,000. Um, you know, that, that's, that's getting, getting out of hand, and the CJHL put a stop to it. And, you know, I, I think the way the, the trading rules and the player movement is right now across the country is – it's fair to everyone. And, um, you know, that stopped the, the craziness. Well, that explains why your league president would have said yesterday, this is unfortunate. And what you're telling us is that this is potentially the highway to hell for the BC Hockey League, right? So is that, am I summing that up correctly? No, like, uh, you know, I don't think it's, I think it's a tough decision to make. Um, you know, you're kind of in a, a hard spot okay do we break away from hockey canada okay where do we get referees now where do we get insurance um so there's a lot of hoops that way if you ever decide to break away from hockey canada um but i don't think their intent is to, to break away from hockey canada i think they have some issues with the cghl and and that, that's fine that's for their prerogative and um i think though like if there's some decisions that have been made that don't favor your league or the direction you want to go well, you know, you, you agreed to join the CJHL and that's just, you know, those, those rules and regulations set out and you have to follow them. And there may be things that I don't like personally or that Sam Bruins might not like or the SJHL, but, um, you know, that's the way it is. Maybe I want nine 20 year olds playing for that Sam Bruins and the rules eight. Well, the rules eight and I'm going to have to go buy it. Right. I got you. Well, Tarts, we're going to let you go. I appreciate all this insight, man. It was a different way of looking at it than I had. So thanks for this, and glad to hear that you will be on the ice, we believe, in the fall. Sorry that you had to go through this, but it is what it is, right? It is what it is. A little disappointing. Uh, you know, the, the variant played a role, but you know, I, the one thing I do want to set the record straight on is, you know, you heard the, the, the whole tell thing that came up with the, the decision being you know, a sticky point, but... Uh, that's a simple phone call from government to, uh, you know, build shower our committee. And yeah, we, you know, we had one hotel takeover. If we needed to take another hotel over completely, that's an easy fix. So same thing comes, it all comes down to communication and, and, and talk things out. Absolutely. Okay. Thanks, Jason. Okay. Have a great day, Rod. You too, sir. The head coach and general manager of the Esteban Bruins, Jason Tatarnik joining us. You're watching Rod Peterson on demand. For more of The Rod Peterson Show, visit rodpeterson.com or follow Rod Peterson on social media.